Let's have a look at a couple of examples of how we can convert the equation of a two-dimensional curve from parametric form to Cartesian form. So when we say parametric form, we mean like in this example here where x and y are both expressed in terms of a third variable or parameter, t in this case. And when we say Cartesian form, we're basically wanting to eliminate the parameter t to obtain a relation between x and y. So as well as looking at how to convert these equations, we'll also have a look at sketching a curve and seeing if there's any constraints on x to do this. So for our first example here, we have x equals 3 cos t, y equals 4 sine t for our parametric equations of a curve, and we want to rewrite that in Cartesian form. So how could we eliminate t? And when we're talking about expressions in terms of cos t and sine t, the easiest way to do this is usually using the useful identity that cos squared t plus sine squared t is always equal to 1. Because in this case, we have x equal to 3 cos t. So therefore, that can be rearranged to give cos t equals x divided by 3. And similarly, y equals 4 sine t can be rearranged to give us sine t is equal to y divided by 4. And from there, you can see that we can just substitute those expressions for cos t and sine t into that identity to get x divided by 3 squared for the cos squared t part plus y divided by 4 squared for the sine squared t part is equal to 1. Or that could be written x squared divided by 9 plus y squared divided by 16 equal to 1. And you might recognise this as the equation of an ellipse. Now the question is, are there any restrictions on the value x can take? And x was equal to 3 cos t. And cos t always takes values between negative 1 and 1. Therefore, 3 cos t for x must always take values between negative 3 and 3. And if we were to draw a sketch of this curve, it would in fact be an ellipse, where the x-intercepts of our ellipse will be 3 and negative 3. The y-intercepts of that ellipse are going to be 4 and negative 4, so that our sketch of our curve would look like this. For our second example, here are the parametric equations of a curve, x equals e to the t, y equals e to the 2t. So again, the Cartesian equation, that'll be a relation between x and y. So how can we eliminate t here? And if we could write y in terms of e to the t, we'd basically be writing it in terms of x. And by index laws, e to the 2t is just e to the t squared. Therefore, we could write here y equals x squared for our Cartesian equation. But again, we need to be careful to see if there's any restriction on values of x that satisfy this equation, since this is not what we started with. y equals x squared is usually just an ordinary parabola about the origin. But here, looking at x equals e to the power of t, e to the power of t is always greater than 0. So that means that this will only be satisfied for x greater than 0. So that hence, if we draw the graph, it will have the following appearance. It will basically look like this, like the right-hand side of the usual parabola y equals x squared. And the value 0 will not actually be included in the x values. So these are two examples of converting from parametric equations to Cartesian equations of a curve and looking at the associated constraints in terms of x.